Okay, chef, Hi everyone, this is Brian from Solver Fitness Roller Skate Training. This time I'm zooming in on a little riff I refer to as the Angular Dribble Shuffle, also known as the classic B-Funk Shuffle. Now I'll get to the name in a minute, but first let's have a look at the pattern of movement and the techniques involved. Initially, this is a four count riff on each side, but it can easily morph into a three count. Now, as you can see, Mariska and I start out in a diagonal position, and on the first count, we place one skate forward, bringing the ankle in a supinated position. This skate preferably rests on the edge of just one back wheel. Then we roll the front skate back as we make an angular twist, followed by a single straightforward dribble. And the fourth count is a pause, which can be filled up with a little bounce. So this supinated position means the ankle joint is rotated inwards. There is practically no body weight on this leg, which in a more advanced mode should make it able for you to raise the knee up or swing the leg up instead of the placement on the floor. Now let's move on to the next phase, which is completing four counts in a row and then take a four count break before we move to the other side. After this, the next step is to complete eight counts. Now eight counts is one full set. So, if you switch to repeating a few sets in a row, you can really start working on your flow and all the little details. Now let's see what happens when we take count number four out, which means we morph this riff into a groovy little three count. So this riff was one of the first, or perhaps the very first riff, I started to share with skaters around me at the time. And this was back in the late 1980s, early 90s. So the earlier name of the B-Funk Shuffle was purely meant as a personal reference to that time. I'm sure skaters in other parts of the world have come up with something similar and referring to it with other names. And I salute them all. Now there's one interesting variation to this basic formula that slightly changes the look, but even more so the feel of this riff. And not only that, it has one cool benefit. The variation I'm talking about is when the basic straightforward dribble is altered into a crazy leg. 
The benefit that comes from this change is that it makes it a lot easier to stay on one spot and you don't have to fight the tendency to roll backwards. The crazy lag variation is hard to notice and that's all because of the intermediate position. Now if you want to find out more about this intermediate position, I kindly invite you to check out the extensive Crazy Lags tutorial which addresses this intermediate position. The smaller the intermediate position, the better you will be able to stabilize your balance and get smooth with this riff. And in addition, this Crazy Lag variation enables you to add turns. Well, I hope this snippet gave you a little insight in how to grow your own flow. By the way, some people had requested this detailed snippet on this riff, so I want to thank you all for the inspiration. Thank you for watching, stay safe and make it funky.